my emotions have been all over the place, to be quite honest. I mean, I've gone from rage to just outright crying out of nowhere. Jason Wazinski just passed the 10-year anniversary of his wife Janice's death. She was diagnosed with a rare brain tumor at the age of 33. But the bigger shock, her diagnosis came just days after her younger sister Cheryl had also been diagnosed with an incredibly rare brain tumor. Our neurosurgeon actually joked around back then. He had a funny sense of humor, but he said, did you and your sister have like lunch hanging out like on high tension wires growing up? No, they didn't. But the girls, once known as the Black Sisters, did both go to Colonia High School in Woodbridge in the 90s. They both passed at the age of 38, now part of a rapidly growing list of people who graduated from the school who've been diagnosed or who died from extremely rare brain tumors. Michelle Lupiano and her husband Al are among them. I got my final diagnosis after an MRI on August 24th just a few hours after my sister-in-law got her diagnosis. Michelle was told she had an acoustic neuroma, something Al had overcome several years back. Both were benign, but the prognosis for Al's sister, Angela DeSillis, was terminal, and she died from her cancer just months later. People seem to have lived with it for, you know, a year and a half, two years, so we really felt we had a lot more time than we did. It, it just came way too fast. It was hard. Marianne Fazioli lost her brother Paul in 2020 after he was diagnosed with a grade 4 glioblastoma, another rare brain cancer. He went through radiation and chemotherapy and uh, he, let, he, he survived 20 months with that. He went through a lot, a lot with that. It was very painful. He had two children. It was very sad. Fazioli connected with Al Lupiano, who'd been compiling a list of Colonia graduates with rare cancers, many on the left side of the brain. Most of them graduated between 1970 and 1995, but as this suspected cancer cluster grows, now at more than 100, so too are the dates they attended the school, the latest now from 2018. Fazioli is now concerned for herself. I've been getting these migraine on the left side. Just, it's it's been like, constant. I did get an MRI. They didn't see anything, but I'm getting, I'm going to let them know like what's going on. The frequency of familial cases has caught the attention of several doctors, including Dr. Samul Raval. Brain tumors does not run in a families. So once you have, uh, it's not genetically linked, most of the brain tumors, especially malignant brain tumors. So when you have many members of the family or something else going on, you automatically have a red flag about something else going on. That something only points to one answer, radiation exposure. It's the same conclusion Lupiano, who's an expert in environmental hazards, came to with his oncologist. When people get radiation to their different body parts and you get exposure to the radiation treatment, what we call ionizing radiation, that is the only known risk factor for people to have brain tumors. The township of Woodbridge began two weeks of soil testing on the high school grounds. They'll be searching for things like hazardous material used in the building process or illegal dumping of toxic waste. Conclusive results can be difficult to find, but for these families, an answer means everything. For Haley, it has been very stressful raising my daughter because every headache, like she has a lot of anxiety in regards to whether or not you know something might happen to her. His niece Kylie has the same anxiety, so for them, an environmental factor would mean relief. For the Lupianos, it would be the opposite. DeSillis left behind four girls who all still live in Colonia. My oldest niece graduated from there last year, and I have three more in the school system. And it would just tear us apart to know that they're potentially being affected as well. She said their mission is to save other families from the same heartache they're living through now. For NJ Spotlight News, I'm Joanna Gagas.